My fundamental goal in life has always been to find a way to build a time machine. <laughs> you got it. My whole reason for being interested in the topic of time travel has to do with my father. My father was the center of my life. To me, he was almost sort of like Superman. He seemed larger than life. Unfortunately, what we didn't know was that he had a very weak heart, and he was a two-pack-a-day smoker, and he died totally unexpectedly of a massive heart attack when he was only 33, and I was 10. And it crushed me. I mean, it really destroyed my world. It turned it inside out, and I was inconsolable. But one of the gifts he left me with is this gift of reading, and I loved reading science fiction. And since my mother had her own problems to deal with, I was sort of left on my own to do that. And it, it's sort of like a blur to me. And, and I, all I could say is that I lived in my books and it seemed as though my books were the reality of my life. So I didn't have a separate existence. I had an existence that was essentially a science fiction existence. And that's what helped me to survive. And one of the things that happened about a year after he died when I was 11 was I came across this uh, magazine. It was uh, something that's called like a Classics Illustrated. What it is is it illustrates the great classics from Shakespeare to uh, uh, Hawthorne. And in particular, this issue was H.G. Uh, Wells' The Time Machine. And even when I saw the cover, I knew that this might be the answer. And when I looked at the first page of the magazine, it said, scientific people know very well that time is just a kind of space and we can move forward and backward in time just as we can move forward and backward in space and I knew, I knew at that moment that this was the answer to my prayers because if I could build a time machine I could go back and see him again and maybe save his life so that became my obsession, that was the beginning for me. And I actually thought about trying to construct it from uh, what I saw with bicycle parts and you know uh, old radio sets of my father, and uh, when, of course, when I tried to turn it on, nothing happened. But I remember reading, saying that uh, scientific people know very well. So I knew I was going to have to learn some science. <laughs>